the Parasaurolophus has become a mainstay within the Jurassic franchise, with that iconic lake scene from the first Jurassic Park film earning the dinosaur a special spot within the hearts of Jurassic fans. Parasaurolophus was a genus of herbivorous ornithopod which lived during the late Cretaceous period. Fossils from this dinosaur were found in Alberta, Utah and New Mexico. The dinosaur was neither a quadruped or a theropod, but instead was able to alternate between two and four legs depending on the necessity. This dinosaur was believed to be around 9.5 metres in length and would have weighed around 2.7 tonnes. The defining feature of the Parasaurolophus is its unique curved crest, uh, which is a defining feature found on the dinosaur's head. Scientists have debated the purpose of this crest for many years, but currently it is believed that this was used to help the Parasaurolophus identify males and females, in addition to increasing their hearing ability whilst also allowing the dinosaur to better regulate its temperature. So, the crest currently is believed to have been multifunctional, although there is absolutely nothing saying that this may not change again in the future, as scientists continue to uncover more fossils of the Parasaurolophus and learn more about this great dinosaur. A Parasaurolophus head, complete with the crest, can be seen in London's Natural History Museum, the location which we visited for the first Jurassic World Evolution community meetup, and the location which we will be heading to in the second meetup this October. Thank you for tuning in to episode 2 of Return to Jurassic Park. Make sure to come back for episode 3 next week where we break down the ever iconic Ceratopsian, the Triceratops. Thanks for watching guys, as always take care and have a great week.